everyone welcome back to my channel this is the egyptian guy and today i'm going to be showing you the best thai chicken wing recipe all right the ingredients that we're gonna be using today are this is one kilo of chicken wings which is 2.2 uh, pounds I have a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of black pepper, and another teaspoon of paprika. And the exact same ingredients again here, teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of paprika, and teaspoon of black pepper. Half of this is going to go on the chicken wings, and the other half is going to be going to season my flour. And for the flour, I have about a cup and a half all-purpose flour. And I also have about a cup to a cup and a half of just milk. What I'm going to start, the first thing we're gonna do is season my milk so I can add it to my chicken wings. Add the salt and the black pepper and add my paprika. Give it a quick stir. on top of my chicken wings. Make sure they're all coated in the milk. And then I'm going to be covering it and let it marinate for up to an hour or longer if you would like. All right guys, now my chicken wings are marinated. I have some flour in a bowl. This is about two to three cups. I'm gonna spice it up with some salt, black pepper and paprika, depending on how much you like. For the two and three cups of flour, I'm adding about a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of paprika, teaspoon of black pepper. Put it in. Now you're going to coat each chicken wing in flour and then set it aside until you coat all of them in flour and then you get to frying. Alright, I got some corn oil in a pan. It's hot, about 350 degrees. I coated all of my chicken wings in flour. Turn it on the outside and don't worry about cooking it all the way through because we're gonna finish cooking it in the oven. This is the golden color that you're looking for. I'll put it on another rack. You can finish frying them in the oil, but I like to half fry it, half bake it. I got my oven hot at 350 degrees as well. And this is it guys, you can enjoy it just like that or you can drench it uh, in buffalo sauce, barbecue sauce, sesame, honey, sweet sauce, whatever sauce that you would like. Or just put a side of whatever dressing that you would like next to it and enjoy it. Alright 
right guys, I'm gonna show you how to do the buffalo sauce now. I got some butter in the pan. Let me turn my stove on. Once the butter melts, then I'll just add the hot sauce to it. Any kind of hot sauce that you like. Now the amount of butter is what's going to determine how spicy your buffalo sauce is. More butter, less spicy. Just keep stirring until the both mix together, the butter with the hot sauce. And you're going to cook this until it boils or bubbles a little bit. Alright, you see how the edges are bubbling? This is my indication that it's done right there. Let me turn it off. Alright, my chicken wings just came out of the oven. I'm gonna take some, put them in a bowl. Make sure they're all in the hot sauce. I'll cover the hot sauce on top. And my broccoli sauce. Plate it, and this is it. Serve it with your favorite side of dipping sauce. I got ranch in my case. Oof, can't wait to dig in. All right, guys, another sauce for my chicken wings. I'm going to be showing you sweet and spicy sesame sauce. some sesame seeds in. And about a tablespoon or two tablespoons of honey. Stir it together until the honey melts and mixes with the hot sauce. It's going to get darker because of the honey. It's fine. That's actually what we're looking for. Once it starts bubbling, this is my indication that it's done. Alright guys, I got some chicken wings already in a bowl and I just pour my sauce all over them. And then mix it all together and make sure that all my chicken wings are coated in my sauce. There you go guys, sweet and spicy sesame sauce.